Hi, I'm Kurt and I'm with Traverse Tool Company. In today's video, we're going to learn how to read a ruler. As you can see, there's a lot of different shapes and sizes, but the good news is they all pretty much read the same way. So let's take a shot at it. Here we have a basic six inch ruler. So let's see what all the lines are all about. Let's first take this thing and let's just call it a whole thing. Whatever it is, it's just a thing. So let's take that thing, split it in half, take one piece apart. Now we have a half of that whole thing. Let's do it again. Split that down the middle. Remove that section. Now we have one quarter of a whole thing. And we're going to do it again. Split that down the middle again and take it away. Now we have one eighth of a whole thing. And one more time, I'm going to split it in, the, in half. And what we have left is one sixteenth of a whole thing. So that piece is one sixteenth of that whole thing. So if we had 16 of them, the 16 pieces would make that whole thing. All right, so let's talk about that slash symbol in a fraction. So um, you saw it in each one of those, uh, those slides previously. So, um, so this is 1 16th. That's the same as saying 1 over 16, same as 1 divided by 16. And here's just another way of saying 1 divided by 16. So they all mean exactly the same, same thing. So any fraction is nothing but a mathematical equation. So this one is 1 divided by 16, or 1 divided 16 times, and you'll have 1 16th of that whole thing. Okay, so let's talk about something that looks a little bit more like a ruler. And this is just a one inch piece. And I'm going to number all those lines across the top. There's the numbers. And the first number is going to be 1 16th. So you'll see I have 16 lines, really 17, but we won't count the first one because that's where we start. So the first line past that is 1 16th. So there's a rule in reading a, a fraction, and that is odd over even. So we, if we have 1 16th, the 1 is odd, the 16 is even, so it's good. It complies with the rule, so we don't need to go any farther. But we take the second line, now we have 2 over 16, or 2 16ths, and the 2 is even. So now we have to break it down, and we, we need to divide it by 2. All right, so we're going to take the 2, divide it by 2, and we'll get 1. Then we're going to take the 16, divide that also by 2, and we have an 8th. And that 8th is the actual measurement. All right, then the next line is under the 3. That's 3 sixteenths. We're odd over even, so we're fine. Next number is 4. So we have 4 sixteenths. That's not going to work because we have an even number over another even number. So let's do the math and go 4 divided by 2. That equals 2. 16 divided by 2 equals 8. Two eighths is not an odd over even number. So let's do it again. And we're going to take the two that we came up with and divide that again by two. And, and we have a one. Then we'll take the eight we just came up with, divide that by two, and we have a four. Now we have odd over even. So that's what will go in right there.
Next is the fifth line, and that's 5 sixteenths, so we're good. It's out over even. Next is the sixth line, or 6 sixteenths. That's even over even, so we need to do the math. Here's 6 divided by 2. That equals 3. 16 divided by 2 equals 8. And we're odd over even, so we don't have to go any farther than right there. So that's where that goes. Next one is a 7. And that's 7 sixteenths. We're already at odd, uh, odd over even, so we're fine. And then the next line is the 8. So we have 8 sixteenths. And we're going to do the math. And here's 8 divided by 2 is 4. 16 divided by 2 is 8. Well, 4 eighths is still two even numbers. So we can't stop there. We have to keep going. And break it down again. So we take the 4 over 8, divide that by 2. And we have 2 over 4. That's still no good. Still two even numbers. Then we take the 2 over 4, divide that by 2, and we have 1 over 2. So that is an odd over even, finally, and that's our number. So 1 over 2, uh, the way you would say that is 1 half. So you probably recognize the pattern here, and, and um, so we can just keep going. The next one is a 9, which is 9 sixteenths. Next one is 5 eighths or it'd really be 10 sixteenths, but we can't do that. We have to do the math to bring it to 5 sixteenths. Next is 11 sixteenths, and so on, right up until you have 15 sixteenths, and then finally the whole inch. All right, so it sounds kind of compl complicated, and it's really not. It's good to go through this just so it's understood, and, and you get the whole um, mathematical part of it, but um, I'm going to show you how it's going to be a little bit easier. So I'm going to start real simple. So this is three inches. This, this box on top is right at the line next to the three, and that means it's three inches. Pretty basic, pretty simple. Okay, so he, here's a line between the, the two and the three. And so that's right in the middle between the two. And I'm going to get my little laser pointer out. And notice the length of this line is longer than any of the others except for the, the whole inches, the inches next to the numbers. So that longer line is the half. So that makes this two and a half. Okay, so let's find another one. This is four and a quarter. Reason being, it's past the 4. This first mark is an eighth. Second line is a quarter, or 2 eighths. We can't call it 2 eighths, though, because it's, it's, uh, we have to break that down, and it becomes a quarter. So that's how we do that. Then the next one we have here is way past the 1, but not quite up to the 2. So, again, the top of this ruler is only divided into eight pieces. So it's one and seven eighths, just like I have down here. So if it were one more eighth, it would be one and eight eighths. But, of course, we wouldn't call it that. We'd just call it two. All right. So let's do another one. So now we're down at the bottom of this ruler. And this part of the ruler has 16 lines on it. So each inch is divided 16 times. So we're past the two, and then we're one, two, three places past, three lines past the two, so that, and we know this is divided into 16 pieces, so three lines of 16 is three sixteenths. So I miswrote this. I wrote one and three sixteenths. It's really two and three sixteenths. So disregard that number on there. I apologize for that. All right, let's keep going. And now we have something way past the four. 
And we know that the 5 is 16 sixteenths, as we talked about with the 8. So 8 eighths is a whole inch. Likewise, 16 sixteenths is a whole inch. Well, we're just one little line or 1 sixteenth down below the 5, before the 5. So, or, or you could say the same thing, we're 15 sixteenths past the 4. So that's why this would be called 4 and 15 sixteenths. Here's just a super quick video on how to read a scale or a ruler. So you'll see the, each ruler is divided up by inches. This one is an 18 inch ruler, also known as a scale. So here's the one inch mark. You'll see You'll see eight lines. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this inch is divided up into eight pieces. Therefore, each section in between those lines is one eighth of an inch. The longer line right here is right in the middle. That's a half of an inch. Next longer line is a quarter of an inch. And the shortest line is an eighth of an inch. I'm going to flip the ruler over. And we'll talk about this side. Now, this side has 16 lines in it, so each line represents 1 16th of an inch. So again, the longer line is still a half. The next longer line is still a quarter. Then the next, lo next longer line down is an eighth, and the shortest line is a sixteenth. So you always have to have an odd number over an even number. So if you were to count one, two, three, four, five, six, sixteenths, it's not going to be six sixteenths. That's a longer line. So here's a longer line. There's the another one, and that's another one. That's three of them. So that's going to be three eighths. And there's a half. Here's another eighth. That's five eighths. There's three quarters. And there's seven eighths. So this is 1 16th, that's 3 16ths, that's 5 16ths, and so on, right up to an inch. So now that we know how to read these things, let's actually measure some stuff. So I'm going to take this ruler. This is an 18 inch scale. You can see it goes up to 18 inches. And I'm just going to take this piece of material. Hold the end of the ruler at one end, and I can see it goes right up to the four. So that's four inches across. All right. Now I'm going to measure from the other end. And that actually measures more than eight. And there's a lot of lines there. So I'm actually going to make it easier. Flip this ruler over. And the reason I'm doing that is see how there's less lines on this side than there is on that side? Just like in the other example a few minutes ago, the um, ruler I showed on the, on the um, previously in the video had uh, eighths on the, on the top and sixteenths on the bottom. So I'm flipping this one over and I'm holding the end of the ruler right to the end of the piece. And here I see that it's eight and one quarter inches. So the um, the lines are uh, divided, divide the inch into eighths. So the second line is two eighths, or actually what would be called one quarter of an inch. Now I'm going to move the scale and cheat a little bit. So if it was there, that would be eight and a half inches. It's not because I overlapped the uh, the other end of the ruler and you can't do that. All right, let's get a little bit more difficult on this side now. And I'm just going to goof around a little bit and say right there, that would be 11. And now we have 16 divisions or 16 lines in the um, in the in each inch 
So that would be 11 and 3 of those sixteenths, or 11 and 3 sixteenths. So that's how that works. And there are other types of rulers as well um, that aren't into fractions. This one, for example, is divided by hundredths. That's more of a machinist type of a scale. Um, but it still works the same way. A metric roller will work the same way, except that it, instead of in inches, it would be in millimeters. We have some of these right here. So you can see that that's all in middle millimeters on both sides. So that's a metric ruler. But you can see the same types of lines. You just have to count the number of lines between each, each number or each, each uh, centimeter in this case. And um, that tells you how many uh, lines there are, or how many times that part of the ruler has been divided. So the best thing you can do is just go around your house, just take a ruler, go around your house, and just start measuring stuff like anything. You know, so... Here I'm measuring something, I'm measuring another ruler, and I see that it's a one inch width. So just go around your house and practice. And the more you practice, the easier it'll become. Thank you for watching, and I hope this opened up a whole new world for you and the world of measuring. So um, stay tuned and see what videos are coming up next.